Community Kitchen is proudly brought to you by Gemini Catering Equipment at gemcat.com.au. On tonight's show, we take a look back over the first 11 weeks of Season 1 of Community Kitchen and relive some of the best and worst moments with all of our guests, plus a special bonus song from Mar Petit. Hello, this is Community Kitchen and I'm Laura Davis. We're at the Builders Arms in Fitzroy with John Safran. And we're going to be cooking matzo, matzo ball. ball soup. Yeah, matzo ball soup. More the, the matzo balls. The soup is a bit anticlimactic in that it's packaged soup. That's okay. But packaged kosher soup, so there's a bit of atmos there with that. We are at the Lucky Cup uh, making pizzas with Ronnie Chang. <laughs> so first of all, does anybody here know how to make a pizza? Because I have no idea what... I've made one before. Today we're at the Eureka Hotel in Richmond with Geraldine Hickey. Yes. And we're cooking... Chicken pie. Chicken pie. Why chicken pie today? Well, I, um... It's, it's from my mum used to make a thing called um, chicken frigacy, which is a French dish. To be honest, I only found it out that it was a French thing a week ago when I tried to look it up. <laughs> Mum would just say, oh, we're having chicken frigacy. And we're like, oh, chicken friggin' what? Uh, we, we're going to be joined later on by Mayflower, but at the moment we have Lewis from, from Lessons, Lessons with Lewis. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Uh, you've got many cameras here today. Thank it's you for coming cameras. to uh, film uh, my cooking show. How are you today? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty That's good. good. Uh, today, uh, Laura, yeah. we'll be filming uh, vegging tins. That's uh, when you get a lambing tin and make it vegetable friendly. Later on, we're going to be listening to a performance by Tall Buildings. But first, we're going to be cooking with Luke McGregor. Yeah, lucky I was here. Lucky. Yeah. What are we cooking, Luke McGregor? Uh, today, we're going to be making a lasagna. A lasagna. If you want to pronounce it incorrectly, just kidding. I uh, think that's how it is. Probably. We've got a lot of cheese. Yeah, that's just for us to snack on while we make the lasagna. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm pretty good. What are we making? Banana bread. Well, either we call it banana bread in our house, but it's just cake, really. Just in your house? Well... I think they call it banana bread a lot everywhere. of places. Yes. <laughs> but we try and pretend we're healthy. We've got three kids and they, they think they're eating... They know it's cake. I'm Laura what? Davis and today we're going to be cooking... Haggis. Haggis. And nips and tatties. What is tatties? Uh, tatties is uh, the way Scottish people say potatoes. Oh, yeah. that seems unnecessary. It is, it's, but the, it's short for them and they've got busy lives. We're at the Fox Hotel in Collingwood with Rose Callahan and Andy Matthews. Double episode, it's pretty fun. What are we cooking? Uh, All I can see is this. Yeah, the first green thing you'll have eaten in a month. <laughs> it uh, is. <laughs> we, should, we should mention, uh, we are shooting this at 8 in the morning, the day after Comedy Festival finishes. So, so yeah. settle in. Today, we're at the Noble Experiment in Collingwood with Matt Stewart. Just won Raw Comedy. We also have Alistair Tremblay Virgil hanging over in the corner. What are we making? We're making a curry. So this is what Jews eat. Jews... Um, eat this secret food called matzo ball soup. And, um, How many balls in a matzo ball soup? All right. Lots of and balls and matzo balls. <laughs> How much of this goes in here? Uh, just three. But do you have like, That's five. Okay, like a story? Like a story about what cooking means to you? That, that'll get you your reality show. That'll get me a reality show. I don't yeah. want a reality show, I want a cooking show. Yeah. But if you. That's different. If you have that story of if you can cry. If you okay. can barrel down Bianchi's camera and cry about cooking, you're sold. This is not a drama, this is not a movie, this no, is a cooking show. No, they shouldn't be. Yeah. I don't make many desserts, but I make this about once a week, so I'm quite used to making ah. it. So yeah, it's it's quite it's quite. You're cracking right in. Yeah, I man, I'm into it. Don't worry about that. Oh, there's a few don't shells. Don't even They're don't cool. even ask what he's doing. Yeah, I'm just oh, well, I'm creaming the butter. Yeah. Well, while you're doing that, I'll give you a bit of the history of lasagna. I would like the whole history of lasagna. I think was it uh, Italy invented it? I think. Yeah. And that's uh, that's uh, that is unfortunately uh, the end of the history lesson. Uh, 
what is a haggis for for a those haggis, of us who don't know? It's like the insides of a sheep mashed together and then put into the stomach of a sheep and then cooked. But loads of herbs and spices and stuff so that it tastes yeah, absolutely have, delicious. Yeah, you have to do that. You'd have to do that. Yeah. Um, the Scottish are very proud of the haggis because it tastes nice and it's made of disgusting things. Ah. What's the biggest animal you think you could fight? Well... For me, it would be like a big dog. I reckon, I reckon a medium dog, Sam. Because mm -hmm. I'm... Yeah. I like... So it need to be something I can pin down. I don't know if I'd fight it so much because it would feel, feel a bit wrong. What about a pygmy hippopotamus? I think... I reckon I could fight one of them. Hippopotamus, they're meant to be like... Aren't they one of the deadliest animals in yeah, the world? Yeah, but a pygmy one, like the little ones. I would like to register my first complaint. Um, You're uh, picking through the, those the beans, Andy. calls for broad beans. Uh. These, however, are long beans. Somebody doesn't know the difference between width and length. That's an issue. I finally get really bad nightmares if I go to bed too early. Really? Uh, yeah, bad ones. One of the one of the reoccurring ones is that I have to play tennis against the entire cast of Everyone Loves Raymond at once. <laughs> <laughs> I always lose. I, I eat McDonald's maybe eight to twelve times a week. Really? I'm, I'm not a good person. Nah, McDonald's. You don't eat McDonald's. McDonald's eats you. <laughs> it does. Okay. It really does. I'm making a vegetarian pizza as well. Uh, I've got spinach, mm. uh, fried onion, uh, pumpkin, no. olives. <laughs> Feta and mushrooms, no. and this is also this is a pizza that I haven't made before, but I have enjoyed Had once. previously. I don't know about pumpkin on pizza. Like I, you don't know. I'm about not it? a fan of that. Yeah. Like it's like eating rice and noodles. Like you don't, you just go one. You yeah. Don't go, yeah. All right. These these I'm not sure. I feel like about. you got unhappy when I just dissed your pizza ingredients. You, you, you got did. Really... I was really supportive yeah, of yeah, your I pizza. Know. I know. Like, oh, some some fancy mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> About it. Yeah, you as soon as I dissed your my carby old pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I talk about your pumpkins, your face just changed. Like, oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm way more invested. Than <laughs> may or may not realize. All right, well, let's let the pizza talk let's, for itself. I was doing a gig in Scarborough in yes. Perth, and I had to go. Is that the? I had to go to the. Uh, had to go to the bathroom mid gig. Yes. Uh, and I said, the, I said to the audience, look, I'm really, I'm really busting out of the toilet, so just for the rest of the half hour we've got left, I'll be standing weird. Uh, so just, just know that that's going to happen. And so I just sort of kept like this, doing the gig, and then a lady just yelled out, just go. I'm like, wait, just go to the toilet, it's fine. And so I um, went to the porta potty around the back and brought the mic with me and just kept doing the gig, and uh, it was fine. Uh, I don't know if it was fine, <laughs> I couldn't hear anything. But there was one point where I was just sitting in the cubicle by myself with the, with the mic just going... I regret this. I'm really sorry about this, everyone. And then I, <laughs> but I think it went okay because people said afterwards I should leave it in the show. <laughs> so now I go to the toilet every, every gig. gig. Here's the thing where, like on the cooking show, you can do this 20 minutes later. <laughs> no, no, no. I think that this should be shown in real time. <laughs> this is like you've come up with something more kind of excruciating for community <laughs> television than the goldfish cam. What was it's that? A, they, they used to, on community television, they had this thing called Goldfish Cam. Where it was is just, it like live chook cam? Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's just like a, a locked off shot of a goldfish and it's like when they had no shows to run. Have you ever was heard it? about that? No, you, I haven't. Man, you've got to learn about your community television I roots, man. Watch, I don't History. watch very much television. Uh, That's what community television used to be famous yeah, for when I was young. The goldfish. Goldfish Cam. It wasn't a whole <laughs> tank or just one picture of a fish. It was like a locked off shot of a goldfish in a tank. And and the fish swam around, right? Real old people watching this are like, ah, oh, there's oh, a they're like, oh, memories. Mem memories. Thanks, Safran, for I bringing up that, that memory. Show. I miss it. Whoa. Oh, what have you oh, done? Oh, no. It's all right, it's all right. All right, it's all right. I'm just going to do this. I feel like we needed some... Um, we need... Can you grab the tongs? Oh, no. Is the phone's going to catch on fire. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, oh no. no! All right, all right. No, we're all right. It's just we need to cover that with water. When mum would go away like once a year, mm, okay. they, they would, oh yeah, look at you go. Dad would cook and it was the most horrible, oh my God, what a machine. When father would cook, it was the most horrible thing ever. He would just like give you a raw onion and stuff like that. It's almost. You yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's fantastic. <laughs> you've done really well. No, you've done really well.
Thank you very much. Close you ups, just, please. Oh, you can also do crash zooms as well. Do you know how to do crash zooms? Do you know how to do it? Yep. Yes? Okay. Well, these are very well trained people. So, uh, is, that, is that good? That's enough there. So, you have some cocoa powder. Yeah, that's heavy. The crash zoom is when you just do it a little bit a little bit faster with it. So, you just do it like that. I can get Mr. Bianchi to show you. Mr. Bianchi, can you show him how to do a crash zoom, please? It's just when you do the zoom, but you do it faster. So, Mr. Mr. Bianchi, just point it over there, and then you get the lever and you do it really quickly. And then, like that, that's a crash zoom. That's something you need uh, to make other shows as well. It's very important. So we'll just pour this into the uh, little pan here. Oh, there we no, go. No, that's good. That's fine. That was quick. Did you get a crash zoom I'm on that? I'm just going to mix it. Mm -hmm. No, no crash zooms. Well, we'll try again. It's, it's oh, good. wow, look at this grater. That's not a yeah, grater. Yeah, don't use that. That's for, um, that's for when you want it to be fancy. I do want it to be fancy. <laughs> just getting nice and close. Like, just get in nice and close so you can see what you're doing. You don't need your eyebrows. Get in nice and close. No, you did it well done. But you said that this was to hide the zucchini from the children. <laughs> that zucchini is very apparent. Thumbs and cheese is just like an aged cheese. So okay. it's, it's kind of that. Anti-attacking agent. <laughs> it's important. One of my favourite foods. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my God. I had some broccoli go down the wrong way. Can I have a sip of your milk? Sure. Thank you. Not too much because I bought it. But that's okay. Yeah, when it's selling, it's selling. What's happened is uh, the pot has not been able to take our intense cooking today and it's split. I lifted it up. Um, we can do this. Yay. It's not ideal. Um, so we're going to try. <laughs> I reckon if we got these tongs, we can salvage these bits into here. So we'll take a break. You, you just look right down there and you can help me. I'm not very good at cutting out sometimes. I'm really good at cutting out. Do you want to try? Yeah, where are we cutting to? Um, just to a break. We're cutting to a break. <laughs> see you soon. It's, it's, it's no, really I'm lied. I'm not very good it's at really it. It's really hard. Um, we'll see you after the break on Community Kitchen. question for maybe this episode for you mm. is, uh, Ronnie Chang, do you believe in love at first sight? I specifically asked you guys not ask me about that. Uh, I, um, sorry, that was just a joke. It's okay. Just relax, I'm sorry. Uh, it was fairly, uh, mild. No one, no one cared. <laughs> I didn't scare anybody. We were going to let you go. <laughs> yeah, I know. The cameraman was like, yeah, okay, great, day off. Um, <laughs> so, love at first sight, I do, I do believe in that. Yes. But I think that love at first sight doesn't last. It has to be something else. Um, yeah, I learned too late that the only difference between being romantic or being creepy, like the only difference... It's is, a smile, right? No, it's whether or not the girl likes you. Okay. Like, that is it. That is the only that line is, separating order from chaos. Yeah. Fair enough. If she likes you, anything you do is like the most romantic thing. If she doesn't like you, anything you do is the most creepy, stalkerish thing ever. Would you... Are my knees in short? They're beautiful knees. Good. You're doing fine. They feel they're like good they're knees. Surging up into. It is a. It is a, it is a peculiar chair. I'm in a low. I'm definitely not in the dominant position <laughs> in this interview. You're definitely going to be on. Hello. Me. We would like to uh, interview you today for uh, the position of uh, cook. Would you say that cooking is a hobby of yours? Uh, a passion? It's 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 a thing I like to do, but yeah, it's not one of those hobbies where. You, you get home and you're like, oh, I just need to cook something and then I'll feel better. I, I don't think we can hire you because your knees are too big. They're way too prominent. <laughs> They're too prominent. Yeah, we can't have those knees the in the kitchen. Pots and pans. It's a small space. I'll bring mine up to, yeah, okay. to help. Let's... What? If, if cooking's not a hobby, what hobbies do you have? This is like, instead of face-to-face, -face, it's, it's knee-to-knee. Knee-to-knee knee knee with Laura Davis. It's the Hard worst TV interviews. show in the world. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what is the weirdest thing you believe in? Probably... Probably touch wood. Mm. You know how you say, uh, I'm not gonna get oh, the, yeah. I haven't had the flu yet. Touch wood. Because um, I... I guess if you really think about it, like even if I said, uh, we're never gonna get attacked by a tiger in the city. Mm. Touch wood. <laughs> that means that 
if I really do believe, because I do take touch wood, do you say touch wood? Sometimes, yeah. If I really believe that, that means that enough, <laughs> that that means there's some, um, that means I believe in an omnipresent being who can knows when I say <laughs> something like, there's not going to be any tigers in the city. <laughs> yeah. And then I also believe that that omnipresent being can go, oh well, I'm sending out some tigers. <laughs> And that means if I say touch wood, then that being goes, well, <laughs> I hate doing this, but bring the tigers back because he, <laughs> he said touch wood. And that means that I guess everyone who's not saying touch wood is getting, just getting attacked by tigers all the time. Or it kicks in when you do say touch wood and that's when the first time this being sees you. I don't know, it's a, but it's, it's more crazy the more I think about it, but I still say touch wood. Crocodiles are my number one, <laughs> sharks are my number two. What, what are other animals do you like? So it's mainly just big ones that can kill you? Yeah, pretty much. But also I love kangaroos. Kangaroos are good. They're pretty good. Two vaginas. What's, what's yeah. one for? Well, it's the, so they're, con they're constantly pregnant. They like have babies all the time. It's just, and they have, so they can so be, have two at the same time. And also they can, um, uh, they can freeze an embryo. They can't freeze it. They don't, they just, like they have it sitting there, they don't, like they don't turn, oh, like okay. so they'll just go, uh, actually it's not too, this is not going to work out if we have this now, so we'll just, we'll just put you in storage for a bit. And then so, you know, the em embryo doesn't do anything, just sits there and then goes, all right, we're ready now, and then goes. I did not know that. I how amazing through, is that? I drive home through like flocks of them, yeah. at, uh, mobs, big mobs of yeah. them, and like you have to slow the car down and never once did I think I was driving through as many, like twice as many vaginas as kangaroos? Yeah, and you know, the male kangaroo. Two. Nah, it does. Oh, that's impractical! Yeah, but it does split in two at the end. Mm. It's got a pong cock. Oh, man. That's fun, right? What it's was just... the exorcism like? Well, he either hypnotised me or exercised me. <laughs> like, he took me, he'd take like 20 minutes and he'd do all this kind of stuff with me. Oh, like, I don't like that at all. <laughs> And he had, a, he had like a ginger beard as well, and he was sort of like... That's he, probably where his had, power lies. And he had like plugs and everything like that in his hair and stuff like that. So imagine me, but with a ginger beard, and he's sort of like going like okay. this for like 20 minutes. And, and, you know, your ancestors, they got... They got they picked up a curse because they left God's way and all this. Yeah, yeah. so that was another heaps offensive yeah, thing he said, which I couldn't that. believe. He said, he told me, this is like, you know, like people are usually quite awkward about bringing up things about people's families yeah. or whatever. It's like you don't say anything. This is what he told me. He said, uh, I have a demon because my grandparents rejected God after because their family was killed in the Holocaust. Oh, yeah. Like, can you imagine, like, a yeah. more offensive... And then he yeah, said to me, offensive. John, to get rid of the demons, you have to forgive Hitler. Mr. Bianchi, the other day, was showing me that he had... Um, that he could do push-ups. Mm -hmm. um, so just, just give us a little push-up there. Just a push-up. Okay. He's pretty good at it. Yeah, I that's a good one. Oh, he's doing two. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bianchi. That's, that's three. A round of applause. There are more people here, but there are only two people clapping. So That's okay. There was only three push-ups. That's a fair split. I think that deserves a little bit more, but that's okay. Well done, Mr. Bianchi. That was pretty good. That was really good. The, my favourite is the magic bullet. Yeah. The infomercial, the one, classic one. Two. two. Three. Three. And there's the guy and the lady, right? Yeah. And then there's all those weird people in the house and you have no knowledge of why they're in the house except for the fact that they were there the night before and they just woke up hungover and then they make breakfast for them and then they make drinks for them and they're like, let's start partying again. And I've gone online to, uh, onto forums to try and find out why, what is the story behind this, right? Yeah. M Mick and Mimi and Berman and Hazel and... And the only thing that comes up consistently, if you read, my favourite thing is to watch it on YouTube and then read all the comments and read the new comments. I've read all of the comments and to get like the new ones. And it's all consistent that it's this weird sex party. <laughs> What's your favourite part of the Magic Bullet commercial? I just, I'm amazed that they can claim that it takes three seconds yeah. to make salsa. and they always cut off at the end. Three seconds. That, like, yeah. that you could make, <laughs> that you could make 20 batches of salsa in a minute. Do you believe in love at first sight? Mm. 
Um, no, no. I feel like I've only experienced love at first sight and then, and then nothing, nothing else. Nothing else. So, so is that I have ongoing? just I just have emptiness and then I'll turn around at one moment and then my life is ruined for a little while and then it'll be you know it'll be over because it doesn't last and then I'll just live my life uh, quietly and alone and then turn around and ah crap so this is uh, just like, those single moments yeah of, before I speak to somebody before in, in that creepy that's a big bit like yeah, when soon creepy, someone it's well documented though there's a lot of songs and movies about this yeah. kind of nonsense so I don't feel like I'm alone in this is there anything you wanted to plug I understand I've been wearing this hat completely just my lasagna restaurant I guess yeah uh, <laughs> you like to plug your open, lasagna yeah. restaurant which opens uh, whenever the show is yep. um, come on down and get a where uh, is it TB, TBC. Just in a park somewhere. It's Just a in pop a park. up. It's a pop up, pop up lasagna restaurant. Uh, you, we're usually open at 8 a.m. to yeah, 11 a.m. Uh, <laughs> and uh, come down and get your lasagna. Huh? Prime breakfast lasagna. lasagna huh? Well, well, no one, no one serves lasagna at breakfast. No. That's what we. It's your niece. You're going in. Yeah, under. yeah. God, I want a lasagna. Who's under the wave, not over. Yeah. <laughs> well. You, you, People, we can send people to your website if they want to check out your lasagna restaurant. Yeah, and I've any got other a. Gigs. They can follow me on Twitter, I guess. You can Google image you. Google image. Yeah. You should Google image me. Yeah. You don't have any more milk. No, it's make okay. You very sick. I don't want it to go to waste. Mm. And uh, you can get more information on the website that I have. Uh, lessonswithlewis.com. Yeah, it's going to be there. Okay. Just gesture here. On the it's Facebook. Yeah, anywhere here is fine. Facebook About there. And Twitter as well. Yeah, that's it's gonna be great. Mr. Bianchi has a Twitter as well. And you can you can tweet him in and hashtag Mr. Bianchi loves uh, exercise and he's gonna have some exercise videos for you soon. Now, Ryan, we've kind of jumped you in to be our official pizza testers. One of these pizzas is mine, and one of them is Ronnie's. Uh, yeah. And I just want to state for the record that at this point, you do not know. No, no. one has told you whose pizza. No, I do not no. know. Okay, this is these. Yep, it's just a surprise. You can do that, you finish all your soup, but not the balls. Yes. <laughs> so, best to last? Is that why? Or just don't want to eat them? Jesus. Well, no, there was no particular reason. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to put me, like, that's give me an, eating, an eating this disorder. Is a, no, this is not. a pretty hard <laughs> I'm going to, like, go on Instagram, look at the Thinspiration photos now. <laughs> well, because you're, like, you're no, eating that really way. No, it's just a really hard-hitting hard interview show where we want to know why you didn't finish your muscle oh, yeah, oh, you really want to know why? We, we left it on there for too long, so it, like, sucked, soaked up all the oh, goddamn soup. Oh, the truth comes out. It's, it looks beautiful. I imagine it's fine. Mm. It's pretty tasty, actually. I can eat. I can eat this. Yeah. I'm just going to try and see if I can eat the outside. It feels like Master Chef. What would you give as your Master Chef critique? Um, that's yeah. It's okay. It's good, spicy. Yeah. It tastes okay. It just looks disgusting, which I think is probably the point. But seriously, name one thing that doesn't taste good wrapped in pastry. Ah. Exactly right. <laughs> Bloody nothing. <laughs> nothing. Mm. It's very cheesy. It's very cheesy. Mm. But not too cheesy. There's a lot of tomato going on. But not too much tomato. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, it's really good. Thank you. Mm. There we go. The future of Lemmington's, ladies and gentlemen. Would you like a try? I don't want to eat it, please. Sorry? I, I'm not going to try that. Uh, just give it a little go. Thank you so much, Laura. It actually tastes pretty good. Huh? Yeah, it's really good. It actually tastes pretty good. I think the meat sauce saved us. The, the meat sauce the bit I didn't do. <laughs> it's, what saved us. it's good meat sauce. Well, we're going to keep eating this delicious Oh, right, we'll finish it off. It'll all be gone. Oh, huh? You've think... not even tried the haggis. <laughs> I can't do it. Try the haggis. Right, I like them both. Yeah. And but... I think that I like them both equally, actually. Oh, come on. No. But. But with Andy's broad bean handicap. What? 
he wins. Oh, all right, bullshit. Rose. Are you all right with that? But you can take all of your bowling okay, games. Okay, all right, that's good then. That'll keep me going for like a week. I'll bloody turn into a kangaroo by the end of the week. Hey. Anyway. Uh, I think that's the best place we can leave it. Yeah. I was a fool. No, don't ever doubt the banana bread. It's it's a simple, easy recipe to make. I like it without the sugar too. Well, it's better for you. <laughs> We're all trying to give up sugar. I've got a hair in mine. No, you There's, don't. Yes, There's I no do. hair in it. Yes. How do you know it's it not is. one of yours? Because it's, it's okay. It's black not. and curly. Oh Fair my enough. God. Fair it enough. like suddenly like this. Only it's just attack at the last <laughs> no, moment. It's not. Once you got the, the interview from me, now that suddenly <laughs> no one's nice. Everyone's like, why is there this hair in this? Why is it? I wasn't complaining. I wasn't complaining. I think you, you've done really well here. You've chosen a good vegetable to overcook. Thanks so much, Al. You did very well. Like, seeing as you really did everything. Yeah. Mm. I just sort of told you some stuff. That potato came up well. So I'm going to give it to Pizza B. Oh. Pizza B. No! <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Um, and thank you very much for coming on the show. My pleasure. And we'll see you next time on Community Kitchen. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs>